Welcome and thank you for watching Cooking with Ash. I hope you guys are enjoying all the amazing recipes I have been posted. If you're loving those recipes, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't liked and subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button below. I've, pre I've prepared an amazing recipe for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get right into the video. Thank you for tuning in with Ash today. I must say thank you for all my subscribers, the likes, the feedbacks, everyone that try my recipe and love it. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. This makes me want to do more recipe and cook and present nice, amazing food for you guys. So today we're going to be making dal curry. Um, it's a very classic favorite in Guyana. Everyone loves a good dal puri with chicken curry or dal puri with sour, whatever your preference is. Dal puri is common in Guyanese household. This is my take on it and this is how I prepare my dal puri. So in, I'm gonna use my stand mixer today. You don't have to use a stand mixer. You can, I prefer this, it's easier for me honestly. And you can use your hand and mix all the ingredients together. So in here I have flour. I'm gonna go ahead and add um, some baking powder and salt. Again, all the ingredients I'm using will be listed in the description box below. So here we go, in goes our baking powder and our salt. I'm just gonna turn my mixer down put it in lock and I'm just gonna I'm using the the dough um, paddle for this I'm just gonna let everything mix in really well and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is scrape the sides down to make sure that everything goes perfectly mixed in everyone have their classic amazing recipe that they use for dal puri this is how I make mine and guys believe me this dal puri can last in your fridge for two weeks and when you heat it up, it's perfectly fine. What I do, I make some dal puri, leave it in my fridge. When I feel like eat dal puri, I just take it out, put it in a, a, a damp paper towel and heat it up for one minute and I have perfectly soft, delicious dal puri like if you just cook it a day of. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to gradually add my water. And I'm gonna use an additional cup of flour, and that is not gonna be included in the mixing process. That would be for dusting and kneading out, smoothing out my dough. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this in, and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys the finished dough. So guys, my um, dough has been finished mixing in a mix mixer. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a flour surface, and I'm gonna smooth it out. I just sprinkled some flour to just um, for it not to stick but this is the consistency we're looking for not too sticky not too um, hard like tough so this is it this is how I want it to be this is the consistency it's workable I'm gonna go ahead and knead it like this and I'm gonna smooth it out I just want it smooth out and the mixer it doesn't get smooth out like this I prefer to do it like this I'm gonna roll it out like that ball and I'm gonna put it in my bowl and I'm gonna cover this with a damp paper towel and I'm gonna let this rest for exactly 45 minutes and now we're gonna get into the filling for the dal puri. I'm gonna show you how I prepare my dal. Yes, we will be using for the filling for our dal. So here I have my dal that has been washed and I put it in the amount of water that I'm gonna boil it for. Again, all these ingredients will be listed in the description box below and the measurement. I have here some scallion, some garlic or pepper, onion, and this is the tougher part from the scallion. Um, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna grind this up into the dal puri. Here we have some jeera, salt and turmeric. I'm gonna go ahead and add my salt and turmeric to my dal and I'm gonna put it on our stove and we're gonna cook it and I'm gonna show you the texture we're looking for to grind. Guys, my dal has been boiling for 16 minutes exactly. I'm gonna show you guys um, the consistency, how I know when to take it off from the stove. So basically, I usually take one grain of the dal and I press it. You can press it on a hard surface and you're gonna know. 
So as long as my nails can go through it, that means it's ready to brine. We don't want it more soft than this because then our doll mixture is going to be soggy soggy. So I'm going to strain this and then I'm going to show you the grinding process. Guys, this is my setup. I have um, my Guyanese traditional mill, whoever remember that. Um, I set that up to grind my doll. Um, again, if you don't have a mill, um, I prefer the mill. I love the way the doll come out. But if you don't have a mill, you can use a food, food processor, the Ninja, um, whatever else would grind this doll to the texture you want. I don't know what other gadget. Probably you can use a, um, a potato ricer. It, it might do, do, do the job, but this is my setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the grinding process. So I have some doll in there. Basically, I'm just gonna turn and it's gonna come out to the other end of the mill. And this requires some muscle as usual. And there we go. That's it, that's our doll. And look at the texture, guys. It's beautiful, that is the texture we're looking for. Not too soft, not too stiff. It's gonna make a perfect doll puree. So I'm gonna finish this process and then I'm gonna come back and show you um, what it looks like. And then I'm gonna grind my um, onion, my the, the, the tougher part of the scallion, the root part, the garlic and the pepper into this. And I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. Guys, this is it so far. This is what our doll look like. It's finished grinding. I grind all my doll. I'm gonna go ahead and add my other ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my scallion my pepper and my garlic and I'm gonna have this grind into my doll this is gonna flavor the doll amazing flavors it's gonna give it and I'm gonna add the onion slowly too and I'm gonna grind that into the doll and I'm gonna come back and show you guys this is the finished grind the doll this is how it looks after I grind it here are all my seasoning my garlic pepper scallion everything onion that has been grind in be careful um, if you're doing this because the pepper is here um, if you're not comfortable with putting your hand in the hot pepper you can use a spoon to mix this but I like to use my hand so I'm gonna mix everything into my doll and I'm gonna go ahead and add my roasted jeera and my scallion so I'm gonna mix this in and then I'm gonna show you how I fold my doll puree and we're gonna cook some nice hot doll puree. Guys, this is my dough. It's been resting for 45 minutes now. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna portion it out, roll it into a ball, and then I'm gonna start the filling process. So basically this is what I'm doing. This is the size doll puree I'm making. I'm just rolling it out like this into a ball before I start filling them. So I'm gonna go ahead, portion out the dough, roll it out and come back and show you how I'm gonna fill my doll puree. Guys, I went ahead and I roll out all my um, dough, make them into balls. So now I'm gonna go ahead with the fill-in process of the doll puree. I'm putting flour for dusting so it doesn't stick. And basically I'm flattening it out or you can take a rolling pin and roll it, roll it out. Here is our doll so I usually people could use spoon to fill it in whatever you're comfortable with I do my hands and this is how I do it I stuff it really good because you want like nice doll in your doll puree and then you go ahead and fold the ends together and use one finger to press it down while you're pulling and here you have it pinch it and you're gonna flour the bottom Rest it, put it to rest, and I'm gonna go ahead and assemble all the rest, and then I'm gonna go come back and show you how I roll it out and how I cook it on my tower. This is gonna be the last one. I show you guys how to do. Again, flatten it out. Add your filling. And then use your finger, pinch it together while you're using your tongue to press it in. This process is sealing it, and then you dust it in flour. So I'm gonna finish the rest, and I'm gonna come back and show you guys the finished product of how I cook it. Guys, this is my setup that I'm gonna cook my doll puree from. This is my tawa. I'm using a big tawa. It's really big comparing to the regular size tawa. 
This is what we use in Guyana to cook our dal curry. And over in different countries, people don't have access to towels, so they use skillet and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna go ahead, I have here some oil that I'm gonna use to oil my dal curry. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is um, oil my, my towel. And I'm gonna go ahead and roll out my dal curry and show you that process. So guys, I didn't use all the dal that I grind. I have about two cup remaining. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put this in a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna drop it in my freezer. Whenever I wanna make dal curry again, I'll just take it, thaw it out and I'm gonna use it. And also here I have um, paper towel that has been wet and I, I squeeze the water out and I'm putting it over my dough because if you don't do this process and you leave your dough out in the air it's gonna start to get dry and it's gonna crack up when you're when you're rolling out the dal curry so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the process generously flour your surface because you don't want your dal curry to stick and burst so this is what I'm gonna do flour my dal curry really good and then I'm gonna gently roll it out. When you're rolling, don't press too much on your dal curry. That's how your dal curry bursts. And remember to generously flour your surface. And of course, you're gonna have a few dal curry that is gonna burst, but that's okay, as long as you do your best. So I'm gonna go and roll, go ahead and roll this out, and then I'm gonna show you the cooking process on my tawa. My dal curry has been rolled out. This is the consistency thickness that you're looking for I don't like a thick dal puri I prefer my dal puri very thin the dal has been evenly distributed throughout the end so I'm gonna take you over to the towel and show you how we cook this in goes our dal puri and our towel and I'm gonna let this um, bake a little bit on that side and then I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna oil it so that process take about a minute or so here we go we're gonna flip it and then we're gonna oil our dal curry i'm using here a paper towel um, you can use a brush whatever your preference i like the paper towel honestly um, you can use a brush and brush it on and generously coat your dal puri with oil, guys. Flip it over. And we're gonna oil this side. We're gonna repeat the process as the other side. And this smells amazing, guys. a bowl I have over here lined with paper towel. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cooking up the rest of my dal curry and when I finish I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Guys here you have it my finished dal curry I plate it up it tastes delicious it's soft it's amazing my this bring back amazing memories for me high school days we would get break time we would go to the canteen and we would buy dal curry with sour that was the most delicious thing in my book i prefer dal curry and sour over curry any day 
I hope you guys try this recipe and it brings back amazing memories of you eating dal puri in Guyana, whether it's with sour, curry, however you prefer it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and break into my dal puri. This is so soft, guys. I'm gonna break into it for you to see what it looks like inside. It's filled with dal. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Give it a thumbs up. Please, please try it. You would enjoy this doll curry. Please like and subscribe for more amazing videos from my channel to your YouTube.